Hello, welcome back to the three hour news show. This is our security segment and we are still here with Daoud Abdullah. Daoud. So Daoud, you were born in Texas, United States, but you have lived and made a name for yourself in Indonesia since 2001, correct? 1999. 1999. So what made you decided to stay? Uh, I grew up here. Indonesia is a very beautiful country with amazing people and I just, because I guess this is where I grew up, I just, I feel like this is my place. Mm. Your heart is here. Yeah. Your heart is here. What do you like the most about Indonesia? Uh, that's hard to choose. <laughs> the, the nature, I guess. The nature. nature. Nature would be one of the special things about if, like, but everything is in, I mean, no matter where you go, it's, it's a, a, it can be a beautiful country, but I grew up here, I came here with my parents from when I was 10. Mm. So, yeah, it's just, it's, it's an amazing country, amazing people, amazing culture. And I feel like when you, when you learn a new language or something like this, you're learning a new way to express yourself. Mm -hmm. Because people express themselves completely differently in different languages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, learning about Indonesian and Indonesian culture, you learn a different side of you that you didn't have when you're just speaking English. Mm -hmm. wow. And even I, like sometimes I have difficulty talking with people and trying to say something in English, but you don't get the feeling He's worse than us. <laughs> sometimes you just, you, you have to, uh, to express yourself in a different language is hard because yeah. Okay, so each of us, um, uh, we are we are full on Indonesian, and mm. I, I grew up with uh, my mom being from West Sumatra, my dad from uh, East Nusa Tenggara, Alia uh, locally from uh, Jakarta, where she's orang Betawi. But as you moved to Indonesia when you were ten, mm. so which culture that you are you have been exposed more to? When I first moved to Indonesia, we lived in Sulawesi for. Two, two and a half years, mm -hmm. and we, my father was running a pesantren there. Mm -hmm. It's in a place called Padang Lampe. It's before you go to, before the students go to UMI, Universitas Muslim Indonesia, mm -hmm. they go through this pesantren first for one month. And it's still there now, it's called Darul Mukhlisin. Mm -hmm. And so I was, we were there, that's where I learned Indonesian in the beginning. So mm -hmm. when I first moved back to Jakarta from there, I had a, Makassar accent. And you have you oh, had oh, Makassar weird. accent. Yeah. <laughs> People used to laugh at me because I was like asking what pete pete and stuff like pete pete is angkot. Yeah. Oh, pete pete is angkot. Yeah, yeah. So like which the minibus, the which minibus. the local do transport do minibus. Ride? Like pete naik pete pete yang mana ke sini? Apa itu pete pete? Oh my god! So you like Indonesian dish? You like sambal sambal Makassar? Apalagi there are a lot of uh, nice fish dish. So uh, what would would uh, your favorite food be from Makassar or no? I, just, I like all foods as long as they don't stink. Like, I don't deal with terasi. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Pate is still not okay. I, it's Acceptable. Not, yeah, it's still, it's not like, or durian, I can't, I can't do those yeah. kind of High things. High five with mm. me, because <laughs> I don't eat those. Okay, except terasi, I don't My favorite is, I think, would be nasi padang. Nasi uh, padang. It's everyone's favorite. Yeah. It's everyone's <laughs> favorite. Yeah. So, yes, my mom, Proud, yeah? uh, you should visit his house because his mom cooks that. <laughs> yeah, actually, pa nasi padang in Padang, it's even though it's called not called nasi padang no. anymore, but yeah. it is way better than anywhere else <laughs> that can, you can, get it from. Can we hear your Indonesian with Makassar accent? <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. I don't know what, 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 what would I say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's say, uh, let's we're, say we're, we're, we're gonna uh, we're gonna set you free from your agony. Yeah. <laughs> let's say you want to catch the pete pete and you want to go on. Yeah, it. yeah. You let's say boy, boy. <laughs> 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 My goodness. <laughs> no. So, uh, Daud, um, talking about Indonesia, um, and we've seen a lot of foreigners coming to Indonesia, but still, uh, Indonesian um, th th there. There are stigmas about Indonesia mm. um, that that people uh, in other parts of the world yet to um, what you say uh, yet to understand about. Mm. So, what do you, if there is any, what do you want to say to people uh, in the other part of the world about Indonesia? One of the the 
most differences that I've seen with the way Indonesian people are and other people from around, I haven't been to everywhere in around the world, mm -hmm. but to the places that I have been. And what happens often when foreigners do come here, mm. Indonesian are very heartfelt people. They use their heart to communicate more than with their words. Mm. And that's why they're so uh, lumbut, like, like soft. soft. Yeah, and, and this makes it, they're not easily offended, mm. but they're very... Uh, it takes it to the heart. Yeah, and, and they're raised since they were a child to respect their elders and like have uh, manners when they talk to each other and stuff. Even if you don't know someone, you walk past, you you know, you turun tangan, you like, yeah. let me see, or, you yeah, know, yeah. something like this, which they don't... You tend to bow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They don't have these kind of uh, things in, in other places. So I would, I would, my suggestion for anyone who's coming to Indonesia is to use your heart. Okay, last one for me. Uh, for me. You are a man of interpretation, I would say. So if you would pay, uh, play your darbuka mm. uh, to describe Indonesian, <laughs> how would you play it? What kind of rhythm would you choose? Well, probably something happy, like maybe like you could use this like in, in dang. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> Oh my God! That's... Yes, Indra. So wow. Indonesians are happy, basically. Yeah, yeah. basically we're, we're happy at heart. Happy because they're so relaxed. Yeah. For for example, like Jakarta is a place you learn about patience. Mm. Because if you're not patient, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna be stuck in traffic. Your hair is gonna fall out. Traffic, chill. No yeah, money, exactly. chill. Whatever. It is. No work, chill. I have to agree with that. And that's why they're happy. It's because they're just santai. santai. They're, it's not not they're not like yeah. thinking too 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 much about. Yeah. This is in general, yeah. Of course, you have. They live for today only. Yo, this is exactly what I told my friend. That th <laughs> this is the answer when they asked me, how could you actually conquer Jakarta's traffic? Just live it. Yeah. That you don't conquer it. You be no, part, you, you don't conquer part of it. You live yeah, with just, it, right? Just immerse in it. Yeah. Be the part of it. Exactly. Just go with it. You can I be know. sitting there and just like, exactly. these fumes are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do anything to, uh, to go against it. You just like, yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So, um, Daud, it's not see the stories if we don't ask our guests to play a game. And uh. today we will play a game called Guess the Song with Darbuka. Okay. And Daud will play a song with his Darbuka while we have to guess what song it is. is it so, I guess it's not are you ready, but are we ready? This is not fair. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, I'm let's just try. Whatever that is. Okay, don't. Play hard so, songs. So uh, Dawood would know. Dawood would know the, the the song that you need yeah. to play, right? These are, these are normal pop songs, I think, but pop with songs. a Middle Eastern twist to them. Okay. Okay. All right. So you should. It should be easy to. Okay. 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 Shall we try the first one? Right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. We have the music. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. oh, so that's how it would sound in Middle East. Yeah, yeah that's the, the, the rhythm is remix, really yeah. different. So Very rich, you know, when it, when it comes to the, Middle Eastern a, rhythm. Uh, Egyptian DJ from, yeah, he's from Egypt. It's called Tony Production. He, he makes the remixes like this. And I use them for my show and stuff. It's oh, cool. Oh, Ed Sheeran right, should right. hear okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. You're good, you're good, you're okay. good, you're good. I have to say that. I have to go too. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have the second song. Can I have the, uh, the volume up, please? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, what's the title la, of, the, of the song? La, la. Uh, I don't know the title. Oh, no, 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 it's Lisa. Yeah. With money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> money. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. So yeah, when it comes to uh, Korean pop yeah. song, yeah. his song yeah, is the song. Yeah, yeah, All right. Uh, do we have another song? Yeah, there's one. All right, another song. One more. Okay. I'm so ready for this. Can you turn up the volume, please? Smell the victory. Oh, I don't know the title of the song. by many artists and also but many it really events. it really makes you want to dance oh, exactly. whatever you play just made you want to dance actually it's torturing for me to act to sit <laughs> exactly on this ottoman that's why <laughs> you, ottoman. Didn't, you didn't say <laughs> that was I one know. of the ways that they tortured the the people in the in the past uh -huh. like they would tie them down and play darbuka so they can't oh really <laughs> That's a kind of torture. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Play like a nice rhythm. Just not yeah. moving. Just let me dance. Let me dance. Oh, that's the hardest torture ever. <laughs> oh my oh, god. So, so um, Daud, uh, let's say somebody is watching at the moment yeah. and uh, wants to join your community. How can we find your community how and how can we find you? and your uh, music uh, Do you have any regular performances? Well, like that? For if you're based in Indonesia, it depends on where. We have a, our own Instagram page called Serikat Darbuka Indonesia. Mm -hmm. uh, but also each city, most of the cities in Indonesia, we have an admin for each city. They have, mm. a, they have a community there. I think we have like 54 uh, different clubs. Branches. Around, branches mm -hmm. around Indonesia. So most of the big cities all have it. So you can contact us directly through the Sarika Darbuka Indonesia Instagram, or you can contact me, or also my partner, the co-founder also, his name is Lutfi. Uh, that's who we started the community together with, mm -hmm. with in Indonesia in 2008, I think. Mm -hmm. A long time ago, yeah. Okay, so it's at Sarika Darbuka, <gasps> Darbuka Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. And where can we find you on your socials? Daud Debu, D A O D D E B U, and the the Instagram of Debu itself. Debu online. Debu dot online. Debu dot online. Daud D A D A O D Debu, and also at Sarikat Darbuka Indonesia. Daud, thank you so much you, for being you. here, and also so thank you for making us dance. dance yeah. Thank you for the good. Do you have a, a goodbye song for us? <laughs> so while, while actually I'm closing the segment, yeah. you would be the background for it. Serenade, yeah, please. <laughs> okay. Something, something uh, dancey and yeah. something like happy. Okay, okay, please. go ahead. You want to start first, Jimmy? You go first. Okay. okay. All right, see the stories. We'll continue after the break. Stay with us. Do not go anywhere. Dance with us.